Hi there. I thought I'd talk to you today from the garden. A bit of a change from inside. Today what I'd like to talk about is the best way to learn languages. This is a, a topic that's come up a few times now and uh, there's no doubt about it there's a lot of interest in it because a lot of people aren't so successful in what they do so they want to find out what they can do to become successful. So we all come to it from different vantage points that's for sure and we all come to it from slightly different experiences so the way we get there can vary from person to person but one thing that's for sure is that we were all once amazing language learners and we can't escape from that reality and there's no reason to assume why we can't do the same again. The fundamental truth that I believe in is that it's not a question of our aptitude because we've proven that already once it's really it's a question of our attitude and the way we go about how we learn. So what I want to do today is to go over 10 different strategies that I believe that if you take on board um, you will find a, a big change in the, in, the, in the way you go about learning languages and hence you will see improvements. First of all it's really important that you enjoy how you're learning or at the very least that you are learning in a way that you are challenged and you rise to the ch and you want to rise to the challenge and that way you will want to come back to that learning experience and you want to do more of it. So the second thing I'd suggest is to become more and more interested in people and, and life. And I'm not saying you aren't now, but the reality is it's a, it's a connection between language and perception that will drive your language learning and the clearer is your perception and your need to become more perceptive and understand better, the better will be your language learning. The third strategy I suggest is learn not to make assumptions. Um, we've learned to make assumptions in our first language and how we've grown up but in, a, in learning a second language these assumptions can actually get in the way of us actually understanding what we're seeing and hence putting language to go with it. The next strategy I'd suggest is learn to improve your listening. Listening is at the very heart of language learning. What I'll suggest here now is learn to listen for the things you can't understand and you can't hear rather than the things you can hear and you can understand. The next way is to look for patterns in, in the language of learning. Patterns are at the very foundation of language. Patterns are different to rules. Patterns you can come to understand whereas rules we study. Rules are not the way to learn languages I'd suggest. Next one is learn to become comfortable with guessing. Guessing is a fundamental approach to learning languages. Nothing wrong with getting it wrong every time you get something wrong you can learn something from the, from the guess you made. Number seven I think it is is learn to become f comfortable in making mistakes. L learning inevitably involves making mistakes and the more comfortable you are with it the less you'll be distracted by the emotional stuff baggage that goes with it and more interested to find out what actually went wrong. So number eight is learn to follow your feelings about what you're doing and what you're involved in. Your feelings can be a great guide of where to go next. <clears throat> which hot on the heels of that one comes number nine <clears throat> which is learn to be wary of your intellect. Your intellect is a great tool and a, and a really important tool but it should be not be the driver for language learning. And last but not least you need to use the language more than you think you need to. Uh, usage is at the fundamental heart of, of learning anything. You need to find ways of, of using it in more and more different situations and diverse situations and, and, and basically countless, countless hours of usage. Anybody who gets to the top end of their game has put in numerous, numerous thousands of hours of practice in my co what I call, rather would call usage. So it's been a bit brief, but I've hopefully I've triggered a few thoughts in you, in you. And if you'd like to find out more about it, just do check out my site. Alternatively, keep your eye out for a book I'm about to bring out, which is Language Learning Unlocked, which will go into a lot more detail in all of these points. And thanks for listening. If you keep looking, I'm, I'm certain that you can find out the best way of learning languages that applies to you. All the very best. Till next time, this is Andrew Weiler from strategiesinlanguagelearning.com. Bye.